In this video, I'm going to be explaining the difference between leads, accounts, contacts and opportunities inside of Salesforce. Now, they are all very different, so I'll be going into detail on each one, how it works and why it is beneficial for you guys to use. Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully it will be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all with setting up your Salesforce system, check out my website below. We would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Like I just mentioned, in this video, I'm gonna be explaining the difference between leads, accounts, contacts, and opportunities inside of Salesforce. Now, I am in total agreement with you. It is very confusing what the difference between all of these different areas are. So in this video, I'm just gonna explain briefly what each area of the system is designed to do. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I've done other videos on that on my YouTube channel, but it's just gonna give you an overarching view of how these areas can help you and your organization. So firstly, let's start with the leads area as this is traditionally where any kind of opportunity or sale would begin. So let's head over to our leads. Now, the best way I can describe leads to someone is it's a bit of a dumping ground, okay? That might sound a little bit strange, but what we use leads for is tracking any piece of data that ever might be valuable to our organization. So let's say someone commented on a LinkedIn post that we made, or maybe someone uh, asked a question when you were face to face with someone at a trade show. You would wanna throw that information into the leads area. Now at no point has that become a sale. They've shown absolutely no interest to purchase at all but it is worth having that information. So that's what we'd use leads for. We would collect that information and we would put them into the leads area so we can monitor them. And we would then look to try and engage that particular contact or the person that posted on the LinkedIn. Uh, we would look to engage them and nurture that lead and also qualify them. So we'd nurture them so we would try and get them interested in our product or service. And we would qualify them as well to decide whether they are a good fit for our product or service and they can afford our product or service. So that's where we start using the leads area. It's a dumping ground and we chuck data in. And then over time, if bits of data become valuable, or let's say they're qualified and they've shown genuine interest in actually purchasing over a long enough time frame, or you've managed to nurture them, that is when we want to go ahead and utilize our accounts, our contacts, and our opportunities. So in case you're not familiar, what you do with a lead is once they're qualified, you go ahead and convert them. If I, I'm just gonna briefly show you, if you click into any lead, you can press the convert button at the top right hand corner. So once you go ahead and convert a lead, you then create an account, a contact and an opportunity. So if I click into my accounts area, this is essentially all of the businesses that are of value to our organization. Now notice I say value because the difference between leads and accounts and contacts is we are transferring data from the dumping ground into a high value area. We want to protect the data inside of our accounts, contacts and opportunities at all costs. We want good quality data in our accounts and contacts, but we do not need to worry so much about having bad data in our leads. So we would then convert the lead over to an account and it would automatically create an account. It would automatically create contacts and it would automatically create an opportunity. If I go to our accounts, this is just businesses. This is literally organizations. So you've got CRM crew, that is my business getoutdoors.com, sample data, that is obviously a business, national parks gear, that is a business, and you would track the business related information in the accounts area. So if you clicked into an account, you would just see all of their relevant information. And then moving on from accounts, we also have contacts. Now contacts are the people that work for the accounts. So they are the employees of the organizations. So you'll see here, you've got the name of the contact and you'll also see the name of the account or the name of the business that they work for. So you can see Jamie Harlow works for CRM Crew. You've got Jack Escobar and Jake Rocklin who both work for Trail Expert Co. Okay, so the contacts are associated directly with the accounts. And then we have the opportunities. Now the opportunities is the actual sales process, the sales pipeline. And that's the key difference between leads and opportunities. Leads is just nurturing to make sure that they're a right fit for your business. 
the opportunities is the actual sales process. So taking them through the sales call, sending them over a proposal, negotiating on the terms, and then hopefully closing as one or unfortunately lost as the case may be. So that is the key difference. But like I said, the leads is a dumping ground and the accounts, the contacts and opportunities, we want to protect that data at all costs. And that's why we only convert a lead when it is qualified and they have shown genuine intent to purchase. So hopefully this video has explained the difference between leads, accounts, contacts and opportunities and why we would want to utilize leads and protect the data in our accounts, contacts and opportunities by using the leads area. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you are now familiar with the difference between leads, accounts, contacts and opportunities inside of Salesforce and you can begin to use the Salesforce system to its full potential. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you've got any additional questions, you are more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.